Happy Friday, everyone. As mentioned, we're going to change things around a bit. So today I'm going to give you a slang word. And I chose this word because it was used often when I was in California with my friends, uh, by me and by others. So uh, I decided that I felt like it should be passed along to you guys. The slang word of the day is shoot. Shoot. So it's the SH sound. Shoot. Sh Shoo, shoo, shoot, shoot. And the common collocation is shoot for, which we will give examples for later. The meaning is to try for something specific, time, date, manpower, etc., understanding that it is tentative. So tentative means it could change. Or telling someone to go ahead and ask you something. Okay, so those are the slang words. You may think of it more often as to shoot a gun, like bang bang, shoot, or when someone is when they're playing sports and they try to shoot to score, so or shoot a basket or shoot a goal in, in football or soccer. Okay, sentences. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. Your turn. Breaking down the sounds. Can, can I, can, it becomes more of a softer. Can, can I, can I ask you, ask you, can I ask you, you becomes ya, can I ask you, uh, qua, qua, you need the qua. So it has to be a little qua, qua, like quiet, or queen, or quick, qua, qua, question, question. Can I ask you a question? Shoot, shoot. So have that T, make sure you pronounce that T, shoot. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. Your turn. Next sentence. Let's shoot for an August release date. Your turn. Breaking down the sounds. Let's let's shoot. Let's shoot for an August foreign foreign like almost like a foreign person foreign for an August release. Put the s on the end. Release date right into d. Release the the release date. Release date. One more time. Let's shoot for an August release date. Your turn. Okay, how'd you do? Now, on the right side, when you're facing it, I have an actual conversation from my friend in Anaheim when I was out there, and I will read it for you. So you can follow along and, and look at kind of the dialogue, and, and you can see how native English speakers communicate with each other. So I used to work with him when I was with the Anaheim Ducks Hockey Club, and now he's the premium manager for the baseball professional baseball team, the Anaheim Angels, or the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. And his name's Kyle. So he writes, Cool, would you want to link up at downtown Disney at, say, 4 p.m.? So you have link up, means get together. And then I wrote, would 4.30 to 5 p.m. be okay? My wife wants to check out California Adventure more. So check out means to continue to explore. Then he writes, Kyle writes, yeah, let's shoot for, there you go, let's shoot for 5 p.m. in front of Rainforest Cafe. And that's when shoot is used the most often in, the, in these cases with time. Let's shoot for 5 p.m. in front of Rainforest Cafe. Maybe we can walk and talk or grab a casual, a casual bite somewhere at Downtown Disney. Sound good? So walk and talk. Grab a means go get. Casual bite just means not formal, so it can just be relaxing. Nothing too expensive or specific on that end. Sounds perfect. We'll do our best to be there on time. Look forward to seeing you, bro. So there you have a good conversation, and hope this is all helpful. So shoot, 
shoot. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't say this as well. It's actually also a buzzword, which means there's a bad word that uh, people say, which is shit. But if you don't want to say that because there's kids around or if it's just not in your nature, you say shoot. So like, oh, shoot, I forgot to bring my, uh, my phone today. Or I left my phone at home. Shoot, I left my phone at home. Shoot. Okay, hope that's helpful and have a great one. Take care. Bye.